Hey guys, we're Keely and Philly. This is our fan Martha, and welcome to our final video in the very beautiful circle. <laughs> yeah, we have absolutely loved exploring this place, and it's definitely not our last video ever. We are coming back. Yes. But for now, the time has come to hit the road. So we left you guys last week on our way to an apartment in Nice mm -hmm. because we needed to get a lot of admin work done. Because as you guys know, we're heading to the border. With that comes a lot of checklists now because of ever increasing restrictions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard, but countries are being added to red lists, left, right and centre. Mm -hmm. So we need to get a move on. Because we're meeting some loved ones in Turkey and we don't even know if they're going to make it because I know UK restrictions are going crazy. But the first step to finding people we love is to make sure we get there. But first, let's sort out all this stuff, let's get our clothes washed, let's get ourselves washed, and then we can hit the road. Let's, let's go. go. So, as you can see right here, we're settling into this place. We now need to do a dozen loads of washing. <clears throat> this place has got two bedrooms. Thankfully it has a washing machine and a decent bathroom, and just a space that we can work. We've got a balcony too. This is our city view. Check her out. <laughs> let's sort out this washing, yeah? So we separated the clothes out, uh, let's just give a realistic disclaimer. We have never organised our clothes in our life. Well, of course, because usually we have to go to like a laundrette and we just bung everything into the same drum. Mm -hmm. But when in Rome? When in When in a apartment. fancy, <laughs> swaggy apartment, eh? Lush. Lush? Mm. Mm. I prefer the van. Yeah, as you can see, we've just got like stuff hanging everywhere. We're still not finished our washing yet. We haven't done any dishes. We're settling back into apartment life, all right? I'm not, I want to go back to the van, but I'm using the internet, the electricity. Now we just need to get stuck into editing. And then guys, we have a lot of stuff to figure out for trying to get across this border. Like, once we do some editing, we're going to have to make a big boy list and seriously get an action plan. Yeah, this finger needs to get out. Of your butt? <laughs> Pull your finger out, woo! <laughs> okay, let's go. This is Kimmy and her PJs. We're flat out, guys. So we got some takeaway. Serbia okay, vegan excited. sushi, what? Yeah, I'm so excited. I just don't have the mental capacity to cook on this crap induction hall. We're tired of this place before we go. We're slobs. So the time has come. We're leaving this very lush feeling apartment. It's just lush because it's bigger than six square meters. Yeah. I just panic when people say things to me and I automatically say you too and then realise it doesn't make sense. Have a nice trip, you too. I mean, have Where a nice life. Toilet? Oh dear. Dark, dark, dark. Here we are again. If you've been following us for any length of time, you'll know that we are no strangers to border crossings. And no stranger to issues at border crossings. He has our passport. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that doesn't make it any better. Every border has its own set of possible issues, if you know what I mean. Mm. As we all know, things are changing every day with restrictions and everything. We've said it a million times, we absolutely love Serbia and there's so much we want to still see here. But the reality is we're meant to be meeting friends in Turkey and every day more countries are announcing restrictions so we just don't want to end up not being able to get to where we're meant to be. I'm sad to leave but guys we've got to hit the road. We went to a clinic and we got our Covid test done. Negative baby. <laughs> so we had a massive list that we had to get through in order for things to line up. One of the main problems right now is that Serbia is on Bulgaria's red list. On the government website, it says that you get in um, for essential travel only. So we're hoping that transiting through Bulgaria accounts for essential travel. We're making sure that we have all the documents that we need. So we've got our passports, obviously, our negative COVID test. We've got our V5 logbook, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Linked to the last video where we couldn't find it, mm -hmm. but we found it, spoiler alert. And we've also got the green card to prove that we're insured for Bulgaria. We're still waiting to hear back from our insurance company about Turkey, but we'll get that sorted at the Turkey border. And we also have the via net for Bulgaria. It's some sort of like toll road pass or something. So we're trying to do everything humanly possible that we can do. We just hand it over to fate now, I, I, I suppose. We got this. We got it. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, it's just a border. This is what all borders are. You need. You got this. We got this. I think I was just like in denial the whole journey, like not thinking about it, just talking about TV shows and random crap. And now all of a sudden we're here. I actually feel friggin' nauseous. Getting out of Serbia has been easy, easy peasy, just passports, that's fine. I read horror stories that people were stuck here for 10 hours. People having to bribe people, people getting told that if they were transiting they had to take other people with them. People getting like charged extortionate amounts for not having their bayonet or their green card. You know, like there's just so many horror stories, but it's kind of the same as whenever we were going to Croatia. Like, yeah. you just, all you hear is horror stories and then it fills you with all this like anxiety and fear and stuff and we're just really trying to rise above that and just experience stuff for ourselves. If you've enjoyed coming along with our anxiety, please give us a thumbs up. Uh -huh. We'd appreciate it. This is the first country where a COVID restriction's been hard implemented. But the question is, is it implemented in theory or is it implemented in practice, you know? Keely, are you ready? When they're done, let's go. Hello. Hello. Uh, Istanbul in Turkey. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Okay, so far so good. Hello. Hello, passport. Yeah. Something about customs? No, no, no nothing. Cigar, alcohol, no. camper? No. Camper, yeah. yeah. Open. From? Uh, UK. To? Istanbul. Istanbul. Yeah. Holiday. Visiting family. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think we're in. <laughs> so did you see he said, are you going for a holiday? And I was like, shit. Family. Uh, uh, visiting family, that's kind of a holiday. Because I know it's meant to be essential, but I panicked. Guys, we're freaking in. <laughs> that was like, honestly. That was the best border we've been on. That was the most anxious I was at any border. And that was the most chill border. And that was the easiest border to cross. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Bulgaria. <laughs> One step closer to Turkey, maybe. This was the Lip big step. Heck. This was the border that was the scary one because it was red listed. Can't believe that. Oh my word, Billy! I can't believe it. I actually, I'm actually so like in shock that I'm not crying yet. That's how like my wow. brain's not comprehending that. Yeah, we had definitely worked ourselves up so much. So yeah, we'll catch you guys up when we're closer to Turkey. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning, boy. So we left you last night when we got over the Bulgarian border and we were driving towards Turkey. Yeah. But we decided to stop for some food in Sofia, which will overlay um, the wrappers because we didn't take any footage because we're so delusional with hunger. Yeah. And then as we were driving out of Sofia, we were both taken back by excitement and amazement at this epic climbing gym. Yeah, as we're driving down this main road in the dark, we've seen this like light from a distance to the side of the road, all beautifully lit up, this big glass fronted building with an overhang. And then we realized it said Walltopia and inside this big glass fronted building was a climbing gym. And we were like, Aah. We proper rubbernecked. It just like popping out at us from the side of the road. And we were like, This is too good to be true. It'd be rude not to. It would know? be very rude not to. <laughs> So that's why we decided to park up in a random Kaufland car park for mm -hmm. the night just around the corner from it and I'm sorry but you're just gonna have to watch us climb for a little bit. And then let's go to Turkey. And then we'll go to Turkey. <laughs> Little balls. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is proper high This tech. is, you can just imagine we're driving past this in the dark with all these glass windows and all these lit up holes coming at us. Guys, we just have to, we freaking have to. That's right, getting the bio shots, getting the caffeine hit. So there's these lit up LED things. I I don't actually know what they mean. Oh my word, this is too lush. Let's down this coffee and climb. Are you ready? It's cool. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm not warmed up at all in typical Kiwi fashion. And check it out. So you can download an app and then on the app you can choose which route you want to do. And that lights up the holes that you want to do. Kiwi's doing this one. <laughs> I'm so pumped, man. man. It's so tall. It's so big.
has been in, but we have our own security guard that wrap up the guard in the van. How good is that? We're back to climbing. This, for a fiver, is just nuts. Eastern, Eastern Europe is the place to be. It really is. Okay, go, go. Does an awesome almond cappuccino, thank you very much. Like with every place Philly and Keeley go, we love it. <laughs> we need a good turkey. As you can see, it is getting dark. We've got a three hour drive ahead of us and then another border crossing. So let's hope that we can deal with that. All right, partner. All right. So we just pulled in just under half an hour away from the border and we just thought we'd make ourselves a cup of tea and get ourselves in the good mental headspace. We have everything that we need, uh, only at this time we had to fill out a, a locator form. And there's one thing that we haven't, our insurance. Mm -hmm. We have talked to other people that we know that are in Turkey at the moment from the UK and they have bought their insurance at the border. So we're going to follow suit and do the same. Let's get back on the road. We are at the Turkey border. Uh, we think there is quite a queue of lorries. So far we're keeping our energy high. Come on. But as always, the closer you get, the more you're like, <laughs> So where am I going here? Am I going in this right? Am I going right? Me and one to five. I'm so confused. There's their red lights, so you have to go over there. Where? Left then? Left, well, they're red. I don't know, we need to see numbers of planes. Let's go, let's go. See what happens. Passport's ready. Okay, so it's empty? Yeah, I don't know. Is it possible to buy insurance? Great Britain? Yes. Yeah. By something? Is there anybody there? Uh, nope. There's someone there? No. Nope. We just go. Just in. Next. Next, go. Okay, thank you. That was all just leaving Bulgaria. Yeah. We're in this big open space now, but there was like these little back alleys that we were going through. There wasn't really any collusion to what we were doing. No. PCR COVID test checkpoint. Hello. Um, we have negative. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So the person to the left stamped her passport, this person to the right checked uh, COVID, status. COVID status. This is always just so like stressful. You're just, you're always in like a high anxiety state. So this is customs control. So they might want to look in our van. Which will make them a cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea and a biscuit? Nobody can refuse a cup of tea and a biscuit. Yeah. One more check after this one again. He's coming. Okay, thank, thank you. you. It's just so scary. I feel like people are just trying to make us sweat. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Turkey, baby. What just what just happened? I'm my heart. I am I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was the sketchiest border crossing I've ever been through. It's literally about ten different checkpoints. They were doing a lot of checks a lot of computer systems. We had to fill out like a declaration form. They've brought this new one in because of like COVID restrictions at the minute. We have to fill out all this stuff beforehand. Yeah, that was intense feeling. I'm astounded that we're in. I'm freaking, I might cry. We'll catch you guys in the morning after we have processed, processed this yeah. and slept well, hopefully. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> We're out of gas, it's finally happened. Thankfully we have our little camping gas that we got for going into the forest. At least we have enough gas 
so we can like mentally function. Let's get a coffee and we can catch you guys up on everything that's happened. <laughs> You're friendly. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so glad that the dogs here so far are friendly because they're massive. <laughs> Fun week looking coffee. No, it is. Yeah, it is. But I used all the coffee we left. Cheers. Cheers. So, guys. We've been in Turkey for two days now, even though we left you guys off at the border. Seeing I was having a bit of a debate with the guy at the border about insurance because we had planned to buy enough insurance at the border to last us the full 90 days, but when we arrived it was night time. None of the kiosks seemed to be around there. And our green card covered us to get across the border, but it only lasts for a few more weeks, but he didn't seem to mind. We've got a few weeks to figure it out. But anyway, that's what we've been trying to figure out the last couple of days. And we went and got a sim, and we've just kind of been adjusting to being in Turkey and trying to figure out our life from staying in that place in Nice, Nice, um, until pretty much this morning, it's just like a blur. We've just mm -hmm. not processed what has happened at all, and it's kind of going to autopilot. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And now we're kind of like running out of gas. Has kind of made us be like, okay, okay. yeah, like <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we, we gotta, gotta actually yeah. live. You we're, know, <laughs> we're living here. <laughs> Mm. We got this. We got here guys, that's the thing. We actually made it to Turkey. We're gonna get to see our friends and we've got other friends coming, but they're coming from the UK. We don't know if their flights are gonna get in. Dear Lord, praying that they yes. get in. Stay tuned for all of the above. Just are excited to hang out with people. And there's a lot of people in Turkey right now, so. There is. So as you can see, even parking up from our first day in Turkey, we've already made some friends. From stray dog to this lovely UK couple we met. So we feel like Turkey's gonna end up being a really good place for community. Even though we're sad to leave Serbia, we really hope you guys will consider subscribing and continue to join us on our journey as we travel in our van. Thank you so much for everything Serbia and thank you guys for watching. See you next time.